Life is made up of little moments. Moments of happiness, of sadness, excitement and anger, love and laughter. All ultimately making us who we are. And it is up to us which moments we let go of and which moments we hold on to. Learn to let go of the negative moments and grab onto the moments that make you happy. The little things in life are the moments we should cherish. Put down your phones, turn off the TV and look around you. Do something that brings a smile to your lips. That thing that you have been putting off for so long because life got in the way. Happiness doesn't cost anything. We merely believe this because we have been conditioned to believe it. Real happiness doesn't lie in material things, but in the things we do and the people we choose to do it with. For me, the ultimate joy is traveling with my family, with my friends and sometimes on my own. I love seeing the world from different perspectives. During my travels, I like to get away from the tourist areas and see the real lives of people. It humbles me and makes me realize how life is like for others. And from all my travels, the one thing I have learned and the thing which I am so grateful for is that happiness comes to those who want it. I have seen people in all walks of life, no matter what their situation. Whether they were rich business people, beggars or street vendors or average people like you and me. They were all able to smile and enjoy life's gifts. In fact, the less they had, the more happier they seemed. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not naive enough to think these people didn't have daily struggles or were completely happy, no. But they had grasped the idea that it was okay not to have everything and just to be happy with what they did have. They didn't need the latest gadgets or new clothes. They didn't need to eat in Instagram worthy restaurants or even have a home. They were just grateful regardless. When I speak to these so-called less fortunate people, their happiness is so contagious I feel my worries lift away. It reminds me that no matter how much or how little I have, I need to be grateful for it. I need to be grateful for it all. So my advice is this. Read your favorite book. Feel the warm breeze on your face. Meet up with long lost friends. Fly your drone just for the fun of it. Or go fishing. Do the thing that makes you happy, brings you joy.